Hey guys, what's up? This is the Sidekick Lefty channel, and I wanted to go over my Nargakuga critical hit build with you. And I wanted to know what your guys' um, thoughts on it were. So, the um, first thing I'm going to do is show you guys the numbers. And uh, we're going to go in there with a normal shot, right? Normal combo shot. So... I don't know about you, but that was 30 hits with 686 damage. That was pretty good. We're going to go in with a uh, <coughs> fully charged Dragon Piercer. Alright, so that's hitting for 119 to 150. I personally think that's a little low, but I still think it's pretty solid. So now we're going to go in with Brace. Well, sorry, not Brace, but Herculean Draw. So Herculean Draw is up. We are empowered. We get extra damage. Two, three. Nice. That's 722 on the uh, on the power shots. So now we're going to go in with a uh, with a Dragon Piercer with the Brace on with Empowerment. So let's check it out. That's doing 168. That's... Six hits for 667 damage. I mean, that's that's punishing, man. All right, so let's check. Uh, let's check the jump out. All right, so we're critting. I mean, I missed. We're gonna try that one more time. So I'm critting for 60s in the air on a jump. Um, and I I know that this is the training dummy. That this is not like real damage, and you're gonna come across your dinosaurs and your monsters with natural resistances to certain abilities but i don't know i feel like the damage on this is incredible so we're gonna go check out the build <coughs> all right dun, 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 dun. all right so we got we're in the iron box manage equipment change equipment right so we got the fright knight and Arcuga set <coughs> with the uh, rampage skill attack three personally if you're smart and you know the ability really well uh Lasting arc shot, I feel like, would be the party route. If you want to give everyone else extra affinity, including yourself, that's that, that's what you need to do. Is uh, switch uh, switch out your rampage to uh, arc shot. If you're doing solos, attack boost to me is three. I guess attack three. I think that is uh, pretty solid. Now I grant I got three fit instead of doing straight Nargakuga, I took two pieces of Raphnosis. The reason for it is they have piercing shot. Nargbo, if you check it out, if you look at it, um, where's the attack at? Right here. Okay, so Narg's charge shot, all three of its shots are straight. It's piercing. It does nothing but piercing damage from head to tail. Piercing. So I was like, all right, well, I want to like increase the raw damage, and I don't have slots for like other things, <coughs> like attack gems or or anything else. So I I went with the primary, which would be the uh the piercing shot now the head gives two the greaves give one so you get piercing shot three which is maxed out then i went with a uh, normal narg for evade window and evade extender and it then on my talisman what's on my talisman uh more critical eye right now i picked this one because it originally gave me affinity sliding and master mounter which those abilities are pretty cool i get extra affinity when i slide Master Mounter, when the creature falls over, I can mount it longer, which is pretty gnarly. And I believe you can get up to five. You can launch the monster five times. Well, I've seen, yeah, I've seen about a maximum of five times in the walls if they are close enough to them. And it also has a level three, a level two, and a level one gem slot on it. So I was like, you know what? This is the one I want. And it's probably one of the best ones I have for this build. I'm using the Underworld... Pentalus, uh, for the extra stamina up by 100, and stamina gained is 10. Um, the gems, we can go back over and see what we got going on. So we have defense 6, we got crit eye 5, we got pierce up 3, the most important thing on the build. We got evade window and evade extender for extra defense if you are getting hit. You have enough to give yourself, but you have enough gem slots if you wish to take free meal off. You can have a resistance to an element that you would need. Like, for instance, it could be fire, lightning, or, or dragon. Any form of resistance, you have the slots for them. Which I think is pretty cool. So this is a bit more customizable than what one would think. 
Um, and I did notice something about the decorations I wanted to show you guys with anything that is a crit-based build. This is my uh, critical boost gem. No, this is this isn't boost. Yeah, this is my critical boost gem, right? All right, so critical jewel two, right? So it's level two slot, so it's kind of hard to slot. The first one gives you critical hits do additional thirty percent more. <clears throat> I think that's incredibly awesome. However, the part about it that I do not like is that if I were to get two more gem slots for the or two more gems for this in critical booster, which they're very hard to get, you need to acquire Apex Flame Sacks from Apex Rathalos, and you need two of them per one gem. That's pretty tough to come by, right? So like and you you're only getting another ten percent more for your critical damage. I personally don't feel like that 10% is worth it because you won't have the gem slots for extra things like constitution or stamina surge or for my instance I, I honestly just put on I, I just honestly I put two crit eyes on and I put a evade window and evade extender on just because did I? yeah there's my evasion there's my critical jewel Okay, so I put a critical eye and a critical jewel on, right? But, now I have two crit jewels on. But I wanted my affinity to be decent, right? Now, I could put plus three constitution or plus three stamina surge. Um, if worst comes to worst, I would probably put on stamina surge and then eat for fighter to give me the constitution to reduce the cost of my, uh, my dashing and constant attack. Um, if... <clears throat> and that's what I would recommend to anybody using this build who's new to bow. Always go with Constitution and Stamina Surge. Find pieces that give you that over damage. If you're unfamiliar with bow, like this is a raw damage bow build, and like I said, I'd have to eat for, uh, I'd have to eat like a uh, fighter all day, and um, anything else that gives you increased stamina or decreased act uh, cost of movements. So with that being said, we're gonna go over these damage numbers again, just to make you know, what I mean, just just I guess to show off a little bit, right? I don't. Know, I like the build. Um, I think it's insanely fun. I'm like, dude, that's the first three hits are all in the fifties. Now, the other thing that could be incredibly powerful is if you take off the crit eyes, right? You take off the crit eyes, and you put on focuses. Because what your focus is going to do is uh, your charge won't take as long. So you can hold your button and you could still be doing your 40, like, in incredible damage with it. Because you get a full charge after releasing the ammo if your focus is, is on 3 or 2 or something like that nature. If you want to go that route, check it out. You know what I mean? Experiment. But this is my build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you like my content, definitely subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, hit the like button for me, man. All that's great. If you have a build or questions about using the bow on Monster Hunter Rise, ask away, man. I'll definitely do some experiments and let you guys, uh, and, and answer your questions to the best of my ability if that's what you guys need. But with that being said, I'm gonna end this video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it, but Sidekick is out of here. Take care, everyone, and remember to subscribe.